Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Time 4, Kai's Rekka Chile. Let us continue on from the last that's off. So, Poland has fallen to nationalism. Does that mean that you are probably not going to ally with the Germans, which is good for us? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Like, if we can get these three divisions that I have in uh, Porto Madrid into Buenos Aires, capture the city and hold it, but we should be able to. I don't know how strong the... Um, these guys are, I mean, they're up, to, they're up to regular, so they do a decent modifier. Or if we can get them, lay in the city and just kind of secure it. Like, that's worth 40 victory points. Like, we captured these three cities. That's going to be 46 victory points for us. And aside from that, okay, we've got 110, which we might even be able to actually rush our way towards. Got a 10 victory point up there. Unfortunately... It's not going to be enough for us to win the war. I mean, okay, if we, if we can't get up to here, well, at least we'll have three troops. Not three. We'll, have, we'll go to La Plata as well. Have three guys here. I'm trying to think. Like, do I send one more division? Because we want to hold one of areas for as long as possible. And, you know, it's creating more front... You know, we probably see one... Ah. Do not launch it on day one. I don't know how strong the Argentinian Navy is. So I am a little bit worried that, um... They might sink all these troops. And if they sink all our troops, this is this will be all for naught. Which is not something that we uh, would want. Don't need public support right now. What Your stability, right? No, your probably popularity, which I don't care at all about right now. How long are you going to be here? Long enough, apparently. We have gone up to partial mobilization, though. Population is still... So we should sit about 6%. Okay, there is civil war in Siam. But Argentina. Christmas coup. Well. It's unfortunate. How's everybody else doing? So you guys are in like a little bit of civil war. Dutch's Indies are doing okay. Japan is... I don't know quite yet. We'll see if they go democratic or they go with the... Uh, the national populace. We got the Romanovs in charge. No civil war quite yet for them. I think Norway could still theoretically swing towards... The Syndicalist. Don't think the night. I don't think the elections here. We still we want an opposition victory and then force abdication. We want Sweden to join the international. Finland right now is looking pretty in favor of um join the Reichs Pact. So we have a civil war going on. Um. So I have a plan. We're gonna send this guy under the best defense general we have. Can I send you volunteers? I can. I'm going to send you a single volunteer, mostly just so we can defend Saigon. And if you've seen any of our content in which we have to defend the Indo-Chinese Union, this plan is foolproof. Like, it's actually extremely strong. If, if you want Indo-China to win, just have a single guy on a fallback line in Saigon. Just hold the city. The AI will never be able to actually take it from you. Because losing Saigon is basically what that means that the uh, the revolt will fail. Without fail, they need Saigon. Otherwise, they're dead. Hold Saigon long enough for the North to revolt as well. And that's basically the end of them. Oh, when, are I, when are you actually going to arrive? You're going to arrive in... One more day, tomorrow. Okay. 
Okay, I follow Bangkok. It looks like they do have somebody in ba uh, in Saigon, but I don't trust the AI enough to not abandon their position. Which I'm sure they would do. Without question. I mean, if you're down here... I mean, this only was three provinces long. You can probably move pretty far in here with just these three guys. Unfortunately, I got 12 to 20th divisions. Okay, you have remilitarized significantly. At, at some point, at, at some point, you got quite strong. Which is slightly worrying. You know what? The Assault in Bueno Aires is not going to be our first objective. It's going to be, I think, we're going to capture almost every major city except for Bueno Aires, and we're going to land in Bueno Aires at the, as the finisher. You'll capture all the other major cities first, and then uh, deal a finishing blow into the city. And that should work out okay. Yes, the Kingdom of Spain exists still. Nobody else is doing too much. Okay. So it looks like you guys are about even in strength. Uh, unsurprisingly, Nej has won their civil war. I guess no, I guess it wasn't technically civil war. It's like a civil a war between like two families in Arabia. Either way, Saudi Arabia has formed. And we are getting close to um, the war here. Will no longer be the military zone. I don't like that. If you could just stay in your own little country. Like 12 to 28. If it's on the 12, that, that's fine. If it's towards the 28, well, you're going to have a problem. But, like, how much manpower do you have? 48,000, which is more than what we have. We do need more rifles. How many artillery pieces do we have? 38. Not enough, because we need 60. Probably need a little bit more. Probably need, like, 60, 72 now. In order to do what we need. See? I knew that they would have been in the city eventually. But our defense should hold out... At least until reinforcements arrive. Because what the AI is going to do, they're going to constantly do this invasion over and over and over again. Lose four divisions. And because they only have, say, let, let's say they have 13, the lowest. They only do this invasion like four times before they have no troops. So this, this strategy is almost unbeatable. Uh, because the AI cannot counteract it. Like, see, they have 13 troops here, which is a not insignificant amount of their army. The third chairman's still not dead. Look at the armor expertise, even though I don't think it's good. At least not for our current situation. If you can smart cheater, by the way, give them an encirclement uh, penalty. I would appreciate that. No, you, we want to go up here. I'm even thinking, like, you guys are okay. Did our forts get built? Very slowly. Do we have any penalties for construction speed? No, we're at a plus 20. So we're okay on that. I mean, if you can send... Okay, you did put one more guy into Saigon. Thank you for that. Yeah, because I'm trying to push him with two. But these three... Especially if they counterattack, get a 50-50 penalty on those guys. Would be nice. I, mean, I, don't, I hope I don't lose too many men here. Yeah, so now they're attacking. You're... With so many penalties, you're basically doing no damage. Yeah. This strategy, it works 100% of the time. This, this it, it does what it needs to do. 100%. And you're just campaigning, trying... Okay, so you have... 
free to this region. You shouldn't, like, this is mountains. You shouldn't be able to push into us. But at the same time, like, us pushing into you is also going to be a, a nightmare. Like, we need Paraguay or something to help us out. Which they should do. Now they're going to retake some more states. Unfortunate. What is this? What does it even get them, by the way? Like I know it demilit it makes it less of uh, you gain cores. Will not be a demilitarized zone. Is it all? Do they not have cores on any of that territory? I guess not. So they're just going to be getting stronger and stronger, which I do not appreciate. But yeah, like those three divisions they sent there are now completely dead. And they'll do this. Probably, let, let's just say, um, probably two more times until they just don't have enough troops to actually, uh, stop, uh, the South Vietnamese from winning their war. Man, you are now completely dead. These five divisions will then head up north, push a little bit in. And I, I'm sure Germany's Asia is already preparing for their second invasion, but... Like, how many men did we lose in that uh, defense? I lost 1,000 men. I mean, it sucks. Like, that's not an insignificant number. Norway did join the International. So that is nice. You know, a, a decent holding. But Sweden has joined the Reich's Pact, which immediately means that Norway is dead. There's, there's like no way for Norway to counteract what Sweden does. Like it's just over. It's just that's just it. That's game. Okay, so there's wars going on down in uh, China. Not a huge surprise. Okay, I just want. We just need to know how many men they have. Unfortunately, the Liberals did win in uh, Brazil. It would have been nice if, like, the, the Cyniclist have won. Having a Brazil on our side. Unsurprisingly, would have been beneficial. 150 political power. Um. You are a 5-5. Five, five, but the breakthrough is nice. But I think we just want, like, a, yeah, I think just, like, a 10% attack. Put you in charge. We are getting closer and closer. Um, is it almost 1937? The debacle will be happening soon. What have you guys done? What the hell is this? Do you even have a, do you have a naval base up here? No. Like, doing another naval invasion, so we can't... Ho <laughs> they might just still lose anyways. Which is embarrassing. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off. Like, if if they lose, it's not our fault. I don't know how they've accomplished this. It's quite impressive, actually. I mean, I, I have noticed that they don't have enough troops on the entire border. One, two, three, four, six. So they got, they got ten divisions against us. And they don't have enough to put uh, troops in all of these provinces. So that's good information to have, I think. How much fuel does the Navy... The Navy's going to take like 3,000 fuel. Argentina, do you have an Air Force? You do, and it's much stronger than ours. Okay. That is not ideal, obviously. Okay, you still have a port. Like, you still haven't lost this territory. Like, you're close. Like, this is going pretty badly for you. Like, if you lose, like, any of these provinces in this little strip, 
You guys in the north are in for a bad time. You need the, um... The Hanoi... Guys to revolt. I don't know how you do that. I've never played as uh, the Indo-Chinese Revolt. But I do need that sooner rather than later. We have a level 2 fort here. No fort there quite yet. This fort is definitely more important. This is just a backup fort. Just... I mean, they bury it. Just in case, like, Bolivia or Peru get involved. And I don't think they will. Like, I don't I don't know if I've ever seen them do it. I'm trying to remember, but it's kind of hard. Okay, so you did lose the corridor. Which is really bad. Okay, you did free this guy. You just need to link these guys back up. Will you do that, AI? The answer looks like it's no. Like, you're not even going to try to, uh... I mean, you trapped this guy, which is nice. Okay, you're now doing it. It'll take you three days to get there, though, unfortunately. You guys are doing horrible. Like, this is... Really bad. I mean, I still think you might win. Because these two guys are definitely going to die. But yeah, this is just an embarrassing performance. Okay, so you have at least linked this back up. That guy's surrounded. And now this area is also cut off. So, so I mean, you're doing good. It, it's not... It's not, it's not ideal. But Germany's Asia probably is going to end up losing all their men here. One more division. I think we're going to want to try to push up the north more. Yeah, I highly doubt you can really do much. Like, you have no manpower. This no factories whatsoever is just impressive. Yeah, 200% bonus. No bonus here, unfortunately. But 107, so we probably can throw in the artillery. It's a it's less It's less um organization, but I think the attack values are definitely gonna be worthwhile. No, do not do not leave. Just stay in Saigon. Like if they lost Saigon there, it would have been embarrassing. Yeah, so this guy should be dead. You guys should... not. Okay, they did, unfortunately, kind of re... Build this line up. They're doing another naval invasion, which I knew they absolutely would have done. But I still think they've lost, like, half their army in this war. 49,000 to 41. Which is... If anything, that's... Really, that's a really bad showing on, uh... On Indochina... For having that many casualties in a situation where they really shouldn't have had any. And I'm, I'm looking at this situation. Argentina. With their... You know what? I see less than 20,000 manpower. But with a decent sized military. Like we are definitely outnumbered. But not as outnumbered as I originally thought we might have been. 37. We're going for construction speed. Um, Let's go for radio. It's not going to be ready in time for the war to begin. But do you actually look for allies? You can only do this if you're at war with Paraguay. And you can do Peru if you own... Jabut and Santa Cruz. Okay, so you can actually only get your ally. Okay, you can only get allies after you've already unif unified the uh, the country. So the Peru Bolivia is not a thing we even think about anymore. So we can just get rid of this, and then get some more military factories in the country. Thank you. And our manpower is still low, but there's not really much I can do about that. Okay, so the revolt in the north has happened. Please take Hanoi. And that should be not the end of the war. 
but close enough. Yeah, mil 25 army experience, that's honestly insulting that you would actually even offer that as an option. Let's get the strict drill standards. Because that is, what's the, what's, I know it's good. 10% speed, recovery rate, 15% organization should hopefully, I mean, it's going to make our troops train a little bit longer. But that 15 should at least off shoot the, the negative six we took from getting artillery in our armies. Which I think is uh, pretty good. Okay, complete political dominance. So what is the woes of the coup? Right now you are navy dominant. You have the military cliques. You organize why do you have to remove the negative 40% organization? If you didn't do that, you know how much easier the war would be for us? It'd be like 10 times easier. If all your troops were garbage, that'd help me out a lot. What was it, the Christmas coup? So we're still looking at probably like four months. Yeah, you can only do this again after you already have won the war. Yeah, I mean, probably like four months. Probably July, I would say, is when the war is going to be happening. If this is really all they can muster against us, it's really... It should be okay for us. Okay, Second American War has begun. Please stop doing the naval invasions. When do you guys understand that that doesn't work? Like, you have Hanoi. If you want to Vin, it's worth one victory point. You're worth three. Like, I want this war to be over sooner rather than later so I can get my troop back home. I mean, I know once the war is declared, he will return automatically. The American workers rise. Do I have 2,000 rifles? I don't. Gain experience in the army. I mean, it already looks like MacArthur is going to lose. Send 2,000 rifles. So, uh, does this go down to negative? I mean, we're going to lose 2,600 manpower. I know we lost some manpower, but we don't actually lose anything here. And I imagine that the AI might still get the 2,000 rifles. I think. Again, I don't really know. I haven't looked at the code to see exactly how that would work. I mean, you're 200 cents. We've done 52 days. So we have the 200 cent bonus here. But I don't think we need motorized yet. Grand battle plan, max planning. I mean, the breakthrough. You know, let's go for grand battle plan. Spend 100 uh, military power on that. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So, thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Not to click thumbs down. Want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.